Dear Jess, I've been wandering somewhat aimlessly around these high plains and hills of the interior, so I think it's about time to get back to some classic coastal Spanish rice cookery. Nothing better or more emblematic along the Alicante coast than a arroz negro, a black rice. A delicious seafood rice dish coloured black with squid or cuttlefish ink. Now you may think that the area around Valencia is the home of Spanish rice cookery, but there's a saying around here, El arroz en Valencia crece y en Alicante se cuece. Rice grows in Valencia, but it's cooked here in Alicante. So I've come to the delightful cosmopolitan port town of Denia, on halfway between the cities of Valencia and Alicante. There are plenty of welcoming terraces and restaurants here, but my first appointment is at the tourist office, where as usual in Spain, I find the complete guide to the local gastronomy. Sí, más bien de Denia de y también un poco de la zona, de la, de la Marina Alta. Paellas and other rice dishes are the mainstay of local gastronomy, and indeed there are few restaurants that don't serve the full range of classic preparations. Salud! Buen apetito desde Denia, Alicante. My next appointment is at the town's central fish market. These Denia red prawns are highly regarded, as well as priced, and famous throughout Spain. I'll be doing these as a quick starter, cooked in seawater. Here's the lovely moraya, <clears throat> this selection of little bony rockfish, used for soup and the fish stock base for rice dishes. This lady is kind enough to prepare the sepia cuttlefish, extracting the precious ink sac for the black rice. Ink is also commonly bought frozen, but the fresh stuff is considered superior. The next stop is the hardware store to pick up my three-person rice pan. And then off along the coast, just a kilometre out of town, to my kitchen on the rocks. So here we have the moraya, the bony flavour base for the arroz negro. This splendid white wine goes in the cook, not in the dish. And all these various vegetables and the, the important local nyora pepper, as well as little prawns for the paella, langoustines and the squid. All these ingredients you'll find listed below the video, as well as notes on how to acquire some of the trickier ingredients. First thing is to prepare the stock. Now these little dried peppers I mentioned, called nyora, are very common in Alicante rice dishes and are not usually used in versions from Valencia. These are then fried in a good slug of olive oil for a moment or two, along with a very roughly chopped garlic. But do be careful, the nyora pepper will burn quite easily if left too long. Now here, I've separated the shells and the heads from the bodies of the tiny prawns. So in go all these hard bits and get stirred round. Just aim for a little colour if possible on these, but no need to overdo it if not. Now the rockfish goes in, gets stirred around for a minute. The onion, leek, bay leaf and parsley and all this gets covered with water and should simmer for no longer than 20 minutes, leaving you plenty of time for a few swigs of this lovely chilled Spanish Chardonnay. Start the arroz negro itself by frying the langoustines quickly in another good slug of olive oil. These are removed and only returned at the end when the rice is nearly done. Now the chopped cuttlefish goes in, followed after a couple of minutes by the delicate little prawns. Season with salt and after a couple of minutes the chopped garlic goes in. The tomatoes are grated in this typically Spanish fashion and the pulp is added once the garlic has cooked a little. 
This will take a minute or two to cook down, so perhaps a chance for another few drops of the Chardonnay. Top of this mixture, known here as the sofrito, flavorful vegetable base, on top of this goes the rice. 100 grams per person is the usual measure. Stir it around just to slightly toast it and allow it to pick up all the flavors of our sofrito. At this point, you can add a teaspoon of Spanish sweet pepper powder, known as pimenton, though it's, though it's only really required if you weren't able to use the ñoras in the stock. Up to you entirely if you want a little more Spanish pepper flavoring. You can also optionally add a pinch of saffron, failing which orange food coloring, known here as colorante. The ink sac is emptied into a bowl and thinned out with a few drops of stock. Mix this into the rice and pour the rest of the stock over. Bring it to the boil as quickly as possible and then keep the stock bubbling furiously for the first five minutes of cooking. Turn it down to a gentler boil for another 12 minutes or until the rice is soft but still left with a little bite to it. On no account let it get mushy. Just five minutes before the end, arrange the langoustines on top, giving them a chance to warm through. Once you've turned off the heat, it's very important to cover the rice at this stage and just let it sit for five minutes. Now this wonderful starter of denia prawns is simply a matter of boiling them very quickly, a minute will do, in seawater and immediately chilling them in iced seawater. They were remarkably good. Oh, here comes the ferry that's taking me back home to Mallorca, where I'll be preparing a selection of the finest authentic local dishes. Salud y buen apetito desde Denia en Alicante.